So guys, let's continue with our series and get the UE5 mini working. And if I play, let's review a little bit what we have already. So turn in place works, looking around works, running works, sprinting works, crouching works, rolling, jumping and so on. And if I press the V key, we can go into the debug view and yeah, maybe you like it <laughs> that the menu is still dancing here, but to be honest, I don't. <laughs> and let's start fixing it. And also these arrows here, yeah, we will fix them like this and focus on getting the many better working in ELS. So, and uh, the reason is that the skeleton has no virtual bones yet. And this is very important when it comes to uh, IK systems, for, for example, food IK. And we can yeah, copy them here. Here's the list. I will share this link. Uh, I will share the link in the description down below to this to this page and we can start adding the virtual bounds here. And yeah, go do a right click here, add the virtual bound, add it and give it a proper name. So you, you already see that it's a very confusing and time consuming process. So add them here as well, add them here, give it a proper name. So you see, I get very, I get bored very, <laughs> very easily with this task and I will stop. <laughs> I will stop now. And yeah, if, if you started to do this as well, guys, I need to say sorry because I will start deleting those virtual bonds again and we will use a different solution here or path. So what we will create within the series is the following. So here we have the blue utility and the blue utility is basically uh, an editor script which can be coded with blueprints and we, you can automate a lot of stuff. And I will share or in the next session we will write a little bit of C++ code to add virtual bounds. Sadly, it's not exposed to blueprints and we have to do it on our own. But I try to code as much as I can in blueprints during this series and only do the little, little bit in C++, only the things we really have to. And otherwise focus on blueprints. So, and oh yeah, which is really important. If it's the first time you touch C++, I would recommend you that you start watching the series and the videos multiple times to get used to the process and try to understand what I explain. And yeah, follow it not in the <laughs> in the first in the first run you watch the video because it, it might it might get a very very complicated for you if it's the first time. And yeah, we will also develop a plugin in C so that we can re reuse it in other projects or install it directly to the engine. I will share this with you guys as well once we have a first working version. And yeah, I'm also thinking about yeah sharing the plugins with you guys that you don't have to call it in C++, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Let's at first get the menu working and then think about how I could deploy the plugin to you guys. And yeah, to start, we need to do the following. We need to create a plugin and for that, oh, I was way too quick. So if you go to edit and then plugins, it will open this window here for you guys. And then you can click on add. And sadly, in a pure blueprint project like ALS is, we are not able to create C++ plugins. And uh, it's not so easy to enable. <laughs> so let me close this window here and sh show you how you can get it working. So also close the editor here. And we go to this page. I shared the link down in the description below as well. So if you are here at code, you click and click on tag and then search for the releases and click and download this zip file here. And we will add it to the project as well. It's super small. It's just a few files that we can reuse. 
um, or it enables us to use C++ or C++ plugins. And if we open the folder here, we can open the zip file. I'm using 7-zip here, very popular pro program or application. And we unzip the source folder. And what I do as well here is copy this file and rename it. So underscore CPP. This allows us still to use the pure blueprint project and don't care about C++. And if you are, want to work with C++, I would recommend you to use this U project file. It works quite fine. We do it all the time for our projects because, for example, our artists don't want to build with Visual Studio the project all the time and we only share the Blue Blueprint project with him and also, yeah, give him the plugin pre-compiled so that he can start working immediately without having to deal with C++ and Visual Studio and all the shit. <laughs> and yeah, if you, if you want to create a project here, you add those lines, which I did before, and I will also share them in the link down in the description so you don't need to type them from the screen and generate the project file here. And we move this to the screen. So it seems to work quite fine. Here we have the solution. If we do a double click, it will open the Visual Studio solution. And there it is already. I'm using here Visual Studio 2022. And if you want to use it as well, I share a link down in the description how you can install the tool and get it working with Unreal Engine. So. Yeah, it seems to work fine. So I, I was using the shortcut F7. Maybe in your Visual Studio version, it might be different because that's the German version. So if you do a right click here and click on build, here is Erstell in, in German, and it should build the project for us. So now we have C++ support. And magically, you will see that we can now create C++ plugins with an Unreal Engine. And yeah, as I said, we still have to do it. Oh, editor is opening on my other screen because the adding virtual bones is not exposed to blueprints and we will expose it quite easily with just a few lines of code. So what is it doing here? And yeah, we go to plugins. If you don't have this tab here, you can go to edit and click on plugins, then you will get to the same page here. And you can now click on add. And as you see, we now have a lot of stuff here. And what we will do is create a Plank project. I'm using Plank projects here because it's basically the frame for a plugin and the editor will create the basic files for us. And here we can give it a proper name. I call it TT toolbox for tour, tech tool, tour text toolbox. And we set out of here my name, of course. And here description tour tags toolbox for automated character integrations. So now we can click on create plugin and it will create the plugin for us. And then we can start adding code here. So it updates the Visual Studio solution, of course, we reload it and then we have the plugin already. So if we do a search here, TT, sorry, TT toolbox, here's the plugin. So everything seems to work as expected. So, and here you could create blueprints and yeah. I think I will close now this session. Video is getting quite long already and we will focus on Git and then we will start coding the functions to add virtual bonds via a data table. And then we don't have to do this task anymore <laughs> and just do a right click and add the virtual bonds to a skeleton. And yeah, see you in the next session.